Hiya. Um, right. Recently, the RSC had a competition to design um, a worksheet to do with chirality, um, and I thought I'd come up with a new practical. It'd be really easy for the students to do in in a laboratory, or in fact, outside of the laboratory. I'm just doing this in my kitchen. Um, so I'm going to show you really quickly how to do it, um, and it's a pretty bad video, which I apologise for. But um, apparently, if if I do a good video, you'll just show it to your students. Whereas if I do a bad video, then you'll actually get your students to do it. So that's good for me. Okay. Now, um, what the students hopefully you're going to see from this is they're going to see the actual effect of um, optical isomers rotating plane polarised light. So I found the most readily available in school source of plane polarised light I could and that's my my flat screen over here. Um, and and uh, obviously they're readily available, I've just got my laptop and I've stood it on end so that I don't spill water onto the keyboard, although I notice I've got a little bit of water on the top of the screen there but never mind. Um, and a really cheap source of something that, that, that's going to rotate that light is just sugar, okay? Um, and the only other thing you need then is some sort of vessel that you can keep your liquid in um, and the pair of sunglasses that are polarizing lenses, okay? And you can see if I rotate these in front of the in front of there, you can see the effect that, the, um, that they have blocking out the plane polarized light from the flat screen. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I've got two solutions. I've got a solution here which is just warm tap water that I've saturated with sugar basically um, and just some ordinary water. Okay, So I'm going to use the ordinary water first and pour it into my um, square jar um, which I've chosen just for today really. I mean you could totally do it in a glass, it works brilliantly. Um, okay, And then all I'm going to do is put my glasses in front of it Okay, and rotate them to the point where it's at its darkest. Now, this is actually going to be quite hard to do, so I'll try and do it and hope that um, you can see it nicely. So, it's probably about there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line on, um, which is where the glasses were at that point. So that line's there. I don't know if that shows up particularly well on the camera. You can just about see it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer the water back into the glass and just get my shoddily made sugar solution. Um, just use just a stack of sugar. The more you use, the better rotation you'll get. Um, put that in there. Okay, and I just noticed my laptop's gone to sleep, which is good. All right, um, so this is now the sugar solution, okay? Um, and you can't see, oh God, that line's pant. Okay, there. Okay, maybe it just about comes through. Can't see on my little screen. Um, but now we put the glasses in, you can see that if I find the darkest point now, the darkest point's probably about... Hmm, about there, okay? So I'll draw another line on, okay? Um, and you can see there, hopefully you can see, I've got two lines. This is my sugar line here, and there's my water line there. All right, so you can see there, and you can measure the amount it's rotated, and the sucrose is dextra rotatory, and it's rotated to the right. So it's actually a really nice little experiment of showing it. Um, now, apparently, if you use a mixture of fructose and glucose, which you can make in two different ways, um, then you can get the light to rotate the other way. So you can even extend this experiment a little bit. Um, but you can dissolve uh, honey, will give you that, or you can get your sugar solution, add a bit of um, lemon juice um, and do a hydrolysis reaction on it, which will be really good for your students to do if you are in a lab, um, but can get a little bit elaborate and you do have to heat it up to significantly over 100 degrees in order to get any real um, conversion for that one, so it is something that needs to be done with care. Uh, anyway, pressing on towards four minutes, I hope that you find this useful.